A community is an assembly of facts and names and places of its history. And that is what helps identify it as a certain place. Sacramento has an identifiable history and a past, and it likes to identify with that history. So consequently, you find a whole lot of things around town that sometimes are a little bit of a mystery today. For example, you have out in, in uh, the north area outside the city limits, but in the county, you have all these streets named after inventors, Fulton, Watt, Marconi, Edison, etc. These streets were were named by a, by a developer, somebody who was uh, developing the countryside out there and proposed these names to the, uh, the county, which they accepted. And it was honoring important people in history and science at that time, inventors, if you would. Now you can go downtown and you've got, you've got schools like Booth and, and Sutter Middle School and on and on. You get all these names of people who are important in Sacramento's history and they name schools after them. And then you go out and you look at streets and you find streets like in the uh, south of Broadway you find McClatchy Way named after the McClatchy family, probably James originally. Then you have McClatchy High School named after uh, Charles McClatchy. Then you have uh, other names that are not so easy to identify with. Grant Line Road. How does Grant Line Road get its name? It's the edge of a land grant. So it's named Grant Line Road. You get into the uh, area just south of Highway 50 and you find a little road called Croy Way. Why is it Croy Way? It's named after a radio transmitter in there that was for the Croy radio station. Long gone, it's now a residential neighborhood, but it, that's hanging on to that name and identity. You can, you, you can apply that throughout the area. You get, you get names, obviously, in subdivisions that are not, quote unquote, history of Sacramento. But over and over again, that theme reoccurs in, in, the, in the names of the streets. And so it's streets, it's schools, it's libraries, it's uh, uh, neighborhoods, it's golf courses. We pick up on our history and we name it that way.